I'm in the basement of a house that was built in the 1970s. And until the 90s here in the Atlanta area, basements typically had CMU block walls, concrete masonry units, block walls. Uh, the code allowed eight inch unreinforced walls. If you do calculations on that on an eight foot high wall, it can't carry the load of the soil. The answer that uh, we got in a seminar I went to as to why this was allowed was, quote unquote, well, the eight inch unreinforced block walls worked, so they're allowed. Now, let's take a look down this block wall that, quote, worked. And we walk down here, uh, do you see the, can you see that crack here? We're about two thirds up the wall. See the crack here? Once we're coming along here? We're two thirds up the wall, the wall is failing. It is failing from the soil pressure. It always manifests itself about two thirds of the way up the wall with a horizontal crack that goes in, um, in this direction. But what's happening is the wall is forming a hinge right at this point. It's being held down here at the base by the floor slab. See the water seeping in? That's putting in a lot of pressure on that wall. Uh, with this kind of water pressure, you've got like almost twice the load that you would have if uh, the foundation drain worked. Now the wall is also pinned at the top from the floor above it, and it hinges right here at the two-thirds point. Always hinges at the two-thirds point. I could probably do the calculations and show why that happens, and see how this crack is getting wider and wider and wider here, all the way over here to the right side of the house. Uh, there is a couple of different solutions for this. One solution would be to um, put in tiebacks, but what I'm going to recommend here is carbon fiber on the inside of the wall. That's the least intrusive, the least expensive alternative, and it works because it will provide tensile strength to the inner part of the wall and do what the reinforcing rod would have done had this wall been built correctly. And I'm also going to recommend doing some water infiltration protection here. We've got a serious set of problems, as you can see here, that's got to be solved.